Oops, I'm doing it again. What up, Algebra 2? Evan right here, coming at you live, making another podcast. Oh, yeah. Um, so, basically, we are going to be learning about unions, intersection, and complements today. All right. Um, they're pretty fun. It's uh, basically about probability. Uh, I don't know what Ms. Howe uh, has taught you yet, uh, but hopefully you guys will understand this. So basically, um, when calculating theoretical possibilities, we are often interested in finding the number of elements in various subsets uh, of a sample space. The union or intersection of sets are common ways to create subsets in taking the complement of a set. All right, that's a lot of words, don't worry. It's not that complicated. Um, so the intersection is represented here by this upside down U, right? Um, uh, so just remember that. So the intersection of two sets is the set of all elements in both their overlap. So if A and B were two sets, then it'd be the probability of A intersection of B uh, is interpreted as the probability of observing an outcome um, that is part of both event A and event B. So if it happens in both, essentially. The union, which is basically this U right here, right, um, of two sets is the set of all elements in either one or the other or both, right? <clears throat> and that is written as P A union B, all right? Um, is interpreted as the probability of observing an outcome that is part of event A or B or both. <clears throat> All right, so the complement, which is that small squiggly line right here um, of a set, is the set of all elements that are not in a given set but are still within the sample space of the problem. So the probability uh, of complement A is interpreted as the probability of observing an outcome that is not a part of event A. So Ms. Howe told me that you guys have also been using um, complement as written like this. So essentially the squiggly line uh, is a, like the same thing as, comp as the C. Uh, so yeah, just remember that, write that in your notes. Um, you can write the C or the squiggly line, both are acceptable. Uh, so yeah. All right, so here is an example uh, of just what A and B should be. And I'm gonna give you guys some questions right about now. So remember what the upside down U means, okay? Uh, all right, so I want you guys to pause the vodcast and try to do this question, okay? Peter, I know you didn't pause it, so pause it. All right, thank you. Um, so here's the first thing I would do. I would draw a Venn diagram. Uh, so that might take me a while because I'm using this smart board thing. All right. So I'm gonna have this be B. I'm gonna have this be A. All right, so uh, in A, there's Homer, Homer, Marge, Abe, all right, that's just A. Um, and then in B, there's Mill, House, Ooh, got the L. Nelson, Martin, and Ralph. Now some of you are thinking, wait, Evan, you've got Lisa and Bart. Well, because they are in both uh, A and B, we will put them in the middle. So Lisa and Bart. Okay. So that's just helpful. That's something I always do. Uh, it's a good strategy 
to do if you uh, are stuck on anything. So A, um, intersection B, that's uh, the probability that event A and B both occur. So in this, situ in this situation, um, we have to find the names that are in A and B. So we would have Lisa and Bart. Lisa, Bart. So, yeah. All right, now we're going to move down to the next question. So it's going to be A union B, okay? So I want you guys to pause it and try it yourself, okay? Just pause. Okay, so sweet. So <clears throat> union uh, is essentially the event of A or B uh, or both occurring. So because uh, all of these are in our sample size, let me draw a box to represent our sample size. There we go, there's the box. Um, we would end up putting all the names down, which could take a while. Abe, Bart, Homer, Lisa, Marge, Martin, Millhouse, Nelson, and Ralph. Sweet. Okay. Hopefully you guys got that. Remember, A union B is the probability that uh, uh, one or the other occurs, or both. Uh, so, yeah. so now the third one is complement A, right? Um, so basically, I'm going to look at my Venn diagram. I'm going to look at all the ones that are not in A. Now, some of you might just think that it's, oh, like it's B, like it's all the ones in set B, like it's obvious. But uh, we need to make sure that we don't do Lisa or Bart because they are also, because they are in B, but they are also in A. Um, those are repeats, so we could not have those in it. So essentially, we would just have four. We'd have Millhouse, Nelson, Martin, and Ralph. So I'm going to write that out for you guys. Millhouse, Nelson, Martin, and Ralph. Okay. I think there might just be one more for you guys. Okay, so here is a question for you guys. What is the probability of neither A or B occurring? Okay, so look in our sample space, and are there any names outside of the circles? I mean, excuse me, excuse me. Are there any names not inside the circles? I misread that. I'm sorry. Um, so you guys should have gotten all the names again. So Abe, Bart, Homer, Lisa, Marge, Martin, Millhouse, Nelson, and Ralph. Now I could write that out again, but I don't know. Here, I'll just pause it for you guys. Okay, so I just wrote it out. Um, once again, uh, it would be considered uh, all the ones that were in the circle. And uh, yeah. Okay, so now it's a little bit more complicated. We're actually going to use numbers to figure out the probability. Um, so, for example, consider an, ex, uh, an experiment. Draw a single card out of a standard deck, all right? So we're going to let A, uh, the card is a heart, and B is, uh, is the card of a face card, okay? So once again, uh, I would recommend drawing a Venn diagram, okay? So we are going to go ahead and do that. So uh, I'm going to just come up with some questions for you guys right now. Uh, so what is the probability of A union B? Uh, it's also written like this. So uh, what's the probability of A union B? Go ahead, pause it, do it really quickly. Sweet. Uh, all right. So hopefully you guys 
uh, got one, ah, darn it, 22 over 52. Um, now remember, union is uh, A or B, that's what it really says. So uh, you just do basic math, you do 10 plus 3 plus 9, that gives you 22. We all know that there are 52 cards in the standard deck, uh, so that would be your probability. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a uh, trickier one, probably. So, um, what is the probability of not A? Alright, go ahead and pause, try that out. Right, good, hopefully you guys tried it. Um, so the probability of not A is, which is 52 minus 13. Uh, that's the number you're going to want. Ah, darn it. So 52 minus 13. Uh, we are going to do some quick mental math, and that will give us 39. And then we will do 39 it's a bad nine, I'm sorry, over 52. All right, that'll be the probability for not A. Uh, if you guys have any questions, once again, come up to me in the halls, ask me questions. Um, hopefully you guys understood it. I tried to have uh, this podcast not be as long, so I'm going to sign off right now. Uh, once again, Evan Wright, senior, substitute for Miss Howe. Hit me up if you have any questions, Facebook, Twitter, you know, carrier pigeon, whatever you name it. All right, see you guys. Bye.